first you want to start with your floor that has the four posts on the bottom. These posts, one in each corner, you want to start with that floor and then make sure that is level. The extra large comes in two section floors, two sections in the back wall and two sections in the front wall. So that's why it's critical to make sure it's level when you set your first wall down. When you have that level, you want to start with your second floor part. That should slide right up against there. Just want to make sure you pull it together so the plywood is tight together in the floor here. And you want to start with running these two screws in. Make sure your floor is smooth. Go across to the other side, put the two in. In your chicken coop package, you're going to have two braces like this. Once you have your floor together, these go from the post up to the floor for more support. Now you want to start with your fat wall, which is marked A1. When you put the back wall on, the back wall has sheeting hanging down over the framing on the bottom. That goes to the bottom, so there's sheeting hangs down over your base. There's a mark right here, and you want to put the frame part of the wall right to that mark. Just make sure the back wall is pushed tight in against the base. Then you want to get wall that is marked A2. Together, start your top screw, pull the two walls together. So when you have the back wall installed, you want to get the B wall, which is the wall with the chicken door. On the chicken door wall, each end is going to have a cavity along the back here. You want to make sure that cavity lines up with this sheeting to push that sheeting into that cavity. Make sure when you install the B wall, do your corners first and then do the floor screws. That way it pulls the wall in against the base. When you screw the bottom, you want to make sure the B wall is pushed tight in against. When you have the B wall installed, you want to get C1. When you fasten the C wall to the C board on the coop, you want to make sure the framing is even with the framing on the C board when you screw the bottom. Next comes C2. Oh, you want to close your lids? Like a lid. Yeah. There you go. Oh, one second. There you go. There you go. Next comes the D wall, which is the man door. Now you want to get the E roof. When you install the roof, you want to make sure the back and the front are even and make sure this is overlapped correctly. Then you want to go inside and screw your two roofs together. So 
you have that piece screwed together, you want to get the B with the black. You want to start at one corner, make sure the roof sits down against the sheeting, the trim in the back. The roof wants to be down against there. And just make sure the back along the side here is all down to the paint line. Then when you go inside to screw the wall, you want to make sure the wall is pushed back against the rafter plate here. And then screw the screws going up into the roof on the inside. You want to put two screws in the floor joint where your floor came together. You can install these screws when you have the floor together. 